Inside Science TV. When he was born, he was so um, sensitive to everything. Like when the nurses would just move his head from side to side because of his compromised airways, he would just turn blue like instantly. Almost every day, 18-month-old Garrett Peterson stopped breathing. His trachea would collapse. He was not able to breathe, and he would actually go into cardiopulmonary arrest. Garrett and his parents got lucky when doctors and researchers received FDA emergency clearance to use a 3D printer to save his life. Garrett was only the second infant in the world to receive an implant that would hold his trachea open. It's a unique splint made just for him out of a material that his body will eventually absorb. The advantage it gives you is you can really customize them to the patient's shape and anatomy, so that gives you a big advantage. The splint was created from CT scan images and a 3D printer. The images were used to make a 3D model of Garrett's collapsed trachea to make sure it was a perfect fit. The results were immediate. When we put the splint on, then you're able to see uh, the lung instantly start to move up and down. Over time, Garrett's trachea will gradually grow into place and the splint will dissolve over three years. The splint goes on the outside of the airway, sutures are put through the splint and that goes through the wall of the trachea and it holds the trachea open. Today, Garrett is breathing on his own and growing into a healthy little boy. I think it's fairly rare in our careers, you know, we do research that we can actually build things that directly affects patients' lives, and that's just a tremendous feeling for us. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.